Hey everybody, <clears throat> hope you guys are doing alright. So this is an idea for an indoor slash outdoor dog and cat play slash socialization slash exercise area as well as a temp and permanent animal sanctuary slash rehabilitation center. So the after the animal is checked out uh, by experts just to see what's going on with the animal and how healthy it is and how it reacts to things. Um, the animal could be led to a specific area that is most suitable for that particular animal's level of, you know, just, you know, playfulness and, you know, and, um, strength, durability, you know, socialization, all that. Um, and, uh, da, 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 and for all first timers, that animal should be under constant supervision to make sure that it doesn't hurt itself or others or just it gets along with everybody okay. Um, and then, uh, da, 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 supervision, yes, yeah, so to ensure. Animals. So once animals shown to be fit and able to be around others, animal could uh, have access to a more free range area. Like there's different areas and levels to this, uh, this establishment. There'd be a, a place where you'd have just animals that are more prone to violence. You'd have more an a place for animals that are a little bit more elderly, a place for animals that are a little bit younger. And you could have just a, a more of a general population um, area for you know animals that are more middle aged and just seem to get along rather well with, with other animals. Um, that would be more like the free range area. And uh, th in that area, you would need to be, they would need to be constantly supervised as heavily as other areas and, other, uh, and for other animals, excuse me. <clears throat> so this is an idea that could be implemented um, in all cities and instead of dogs or cats having to stay home while their owners go to work, they could be to dropped off at the animal area, kind of like kindergarten. And this uh, area could also serve as a rehabilitation and a sanctuary for other animals and more good work opportunities for human beings that want to help out and then as a way to uh help you know i mean if this is could be kind of crazy but if, if, if just a way to help give uh, allow dogs to help give back to the program and to the people that are feeding them and taking care of them and this and that you could devise something like a treadmill and have like a little motors or, you know something like that holding a piece of you know a treat or something and you could have the the motor the, the the vehicle like move forward and the dog could chase a treat and at the end of the the treadmill the dog could get the treat and by running on the treadmill you he, uh, the dog could uh, generate electricity which could help um generate extra revenue for the establishment so it's just another way that the animals themselves could help pay for their their own meal because that's one of the things issues we have here in america i think is by having all these animals leaving in these houses without having to essentially do anything <clears throat> We're giving them free rides when I think it's it's good to, for any animal to have some some type of purpose in their life, at least for the majority of their life, until they get a little bit older when it's harder to perform those purposes. But while they're in their middle aged, um, you know, and, and young and sprang, you know, sprung or sprung spry, whatever it may be, you know, just giving them purpose is good. You know, having them work for their food is something that I enjoy doing. So, you know, maybe maybe if the animals want to, they can. If they don't want to, that's fine too. But by having this opportunity gives them the ability to help um, help contribute. So... All right. Yeah, I love you guys. Hope you have a good day. All right. Bye.